When it comes to photography, a big part of it for me is editing. I like, I have my own style and I like to make photos look a certain way. Today I'm going to be showing you five Lightroom photography tips that really changed my whole editing game. So the first tip is going to be importing your photos. The usual way to do it is you go here, you click import and it's going to pop up this little thing and then you're going to have to go through and try and find where your actual photo folder is and I find that too difficult. So just click cancel. The way I like to do it is make sure you're in this grid view here which is the library tab or just press G on your keyboard. Go to your actual photo folder, literally just select one of the images, drag it onto Lightroom here, drop, and then it's gonna automatically show you the folder. Say you're on the photo shoot, you took 100 photos, but you only wanted to edit three of them. What you do, you click uncheck all, so no, none of the photos are gonna be selected. You double click on the first one, and then just hit the arrow keys and just go through the photos and say you wanna edit this one here, click P, which is gonna pick the photo, and then you can just keep going along. You wanna edit this one, press P to pick it. And then say you accidentally press P on this photo, but you don't actually wanna edit it, just press U, which will unpick it. Click enter, which is just gonna import all the photos here. And now instead of having like 100 photos from your photo shoot, you only have the three that you wanna edit. And it's just a lot easier to manage your Lightroom catalog and it's a lot cleaner to look at. Next tip here is gonna help if you've taken a lot of the same photo. So for example, in my recent video, I did this water photography where I've got heaps of different photos and they're pretty much the same, but I've only edited one here. I really like this edit, but I don't have to manually edit every single other image. So what you do to get this effect or edit onto all your other images, you literally select all these images here, click on the image that you want to copy the settings from, press Control Shift S or Command Shift S if you're on a Mac, and then click synchronize. And it's as easy as that. And now every single one of these images here is edited with that same effect. That saved me a lot of time, especially when I used to do event photography, like at birthday parties and everything. Like I would create a base edit and I would apply that edit to all the photos and then I would just go through and bump the exposure up and down. So if you do event photography, this is a really good tip. The next tip is gonna be painting color. And this one is like, this is an ultimate game changer. Like when you know how to use this, this can just change the look of your photos completely. We've got the water here and then we've got the camera over here, but to make the water stand out more in the thumbnails, what I did was I actually made it more blue. And you can try and do it here in this blue slider, but it'll end up changing the blue on the whole image, not just a certain part of the image. So to add blue to just the water, press K or just press up here on this long boy. Look how long that is. That is way too long. Anyway, we'll put the feather up to 62. We'll put the flow at 100 and then we can just make the size whatever. It doesn't really matter. We'll just click and color in a bit here, even though it's not going to do anything because we haven't changed the settings. Then we'll click on color. You can literally just make it whatever color you want. Now just go through and paint over all the water. But if you want to see where you've selected, press O on the keyboard and then just start painting over all the water. This is without painting the color blue and then that's with. So it just stands out a lot more. Next up is export settings for Instagram. Sometimes you might be uploading a photo to Instagram and then it just looks completely shit. Like the quality is just crushed. That's because if you upload an image that's too high quality to Instagram, Instagram's gonna go nah, too big and just crush it and make it look shit. To avoid that, you wanna export your image at a size that Instagram will like. So you press Command Shift E, to export and then you can choose wherever you want to put it. I like to change this file name to custom name sequence and you can call it drone, whatever you want to call it. And these are my export settings here. It's long edge, 3200 pixels and the resolution is 300. And then I've also got the image format as JPEG, the quality is set to 100, color space sRGB. On a side note, if you're uploading to YouTube, the maximum size of a thumbnail is two megabytes. So I like to just click on here and limit my file size to 2000 kilobytes, which is two megabytes. But for Instagram, we don't need to click that. Click export and then you can upload that to Instagram. For me, because I use a Mac, I like to just use AirDrop so that I can just airdrop my photos from my Mac to my iPhone and then that retains the quality. But if you're on a Windows, I'd just use Google Drive or something like that. Next up here is gonna be how to make your own Lightroom preset. Now, I've already got my own Lightroom presets here, which you can go and download in the link in the description. But for whatever reason, you don't wanna buy my presets, that's totally fine. A way to make your own presets is you just edit your photo to however you like. I'll use a preset to edit this one. <laughs> For the example, for, for instructional purposes, I'll show you using my presets. All right, so there's the before and there's the after. Say you like this look here. All you have to do to make a preset, you go to the develop tab, 
and you just go new preset. You want to go up to here and whatever you want to call it. So you want to be specific. So if you like that edit on that image, be specific. So for the future, you can apply that preset to similar images. So night urban, I'll click enter. And now if I go to another night urban shot that I've taken, it's gonna give that same look on this shot here. So we'll find night urban preset, click on it. And then it's slightly different, but all we need to do to fix that is just bring the exposure down and bring the temperature across to adjust. And there you go, we've got pretty much the same edit on two different photos. And that's gonna save you a lot of time. I barely ever edit a photo from scratch. I'm always using presets because it's my style and I like to just continue my style throughout my photography. Not for any reason apart from the fact that I just like how the photos look once I've edited them. So that's gonna save you a lot of time with your editing and it's a good way to develop your style as a photographer. All right, and the last tip here is probably the most simplest but effective tip in Lightroom. And that's how to show the before and after of an image. So say here, I've got this raw image of Alyssa, who's the model. I'm just gonna edit this photo real quick. Say you've edited the photo, but the skin tones don't look quite right. A way to show the before and after is you press this button here under the delete key. That's gonna show you the before, and then you press it again and that will come back to the after. So before, after. So as you can see, the skin tones are way too yellow. An even better way to get the skin tones right is you press Y on the keyboard. And if this doesn't come up, that's all right. Go down to the toolbar here and if it's not there, just press T. And you wanna click on this one here and you just wanna click on it until it looks like this. So clearly as you can see here, oops, <laughs> it's a bit too zoomed in. As you can see here, skin tones are way too yellow. So all we have to do is just go to the orange slider, which is your skin color, and just bring that back down until it sort of matches and it's not going to be exactly the same color because the edit will change it but this just gives you a good preview of what you're working with so i press y again to get rid of that and now the skin tones look a lot more natural as opposed to yellow you don't want your model to be looking like the simpsons so that is a good tip and that's the last tip of this video so i hope you enjoyed it if you did leave a like Help me out by hitting subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'm in quarantine. I'm trying not to go out and see the boys. Try not to create any vlogs that are outdoors because I don't want to get infected and I don't want to potentially infect anyone if I get the virus. I don't have it as far as I'm concerned, so I'm all good, but try and stay inside if you can. If you end up using any of these tips, tag me on Instagram at 7th Year because I'd love to see what sort of photos you edit. That's all from me. As always, don't think, just do. Repetitious shop and blaze Like me, 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 she my serving up every single plate The hottest in the season, even summer looks away Cause I got something to prove I'm here cause I pay my dues So please tell me something new I'm in the